I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Tuesday morning, the 12th of December, 2023. And this is your friend, Angus Buchan, with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of James, chapter 2, and I'm reading from verse 1. My brethren, do not hold the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with partiality. For if there should come into your assembly a man with gold rings in fine apparel, and there should also come in a poor man in filthy rags, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes, and say to him, you sit here in a good place, and say to the poor man, you stand there or sit at my footstool, Have you not shown partiality among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? And then we go straight to the first book of Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 8. Which none of the rulers of this age knew. For had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Partiality. I looked up the dictionary. It means being biased. It means influencing unfairly. It means prejudice. It basically means having favorites. Jesus has got no favorites. You see, in that reading in the first book of Corinthians, what the writer is saying, if the rulers of Israel knew who Jesus was, they would never have crucified the Son of God. And we look at Jesse in the Old Testament, the father of King David. He had eight sons, but he showed partiality first to the oldest, then the next, then the next, then the next, until the prophet Samuel said, don't you have any other sons? He said, yes, I've got one. He's a young boy. He's probably about 13. He's looking after the sheep. (laughs) Samuel said, call him here. And this very handsome young boy With a ruddy face, he must have been a redhead. He walked in, and there he was, anointed as the greatest king that Israel has ever had, next to our Lord Jesus Christ. Because your son or daughter is not a good sportsman or sportswoman, and the others in the family are, be careful that you do not show partiality. Because your other son or daughter might be artistic, and probably turn out to be a great musician or an artist. We must be so careful about that. When I was a little boy, I think I was quite an awkward character. (laughs) Because I went to my mom once when I was small, and I said, Mom, who do you love the most, Dad or me? But that old Scottish woman, she was so wise. She sat me down. She said, Angus, I love your dad, and I love you in two different ways. But I love you both exactly the same. I was quite happy, ran outside and went to play. Today, do not show partiality. There are no favorites in the kingdom of God. Jesus bless you and goodbye.